welcome back to episode 2 of Ohio Richlands. We have managed to secure a couple of contracts today. Uh, there's a fertilizing one on field 25. Uh, there is another one on field 17 and there's a harvesting contract on field 16. So we're going to go over and do 25 first because we're fully loaded with fertilizer. We'll get that done and out of the way first. It's quite a large field so I'm not sure how much it's going to take. So you'll notice the field on the left there, the combine's sitting in it, it's just grass. But we've bought that field, that's why we're now left with just under 84,000. Uh, that's going to be where our main operation is based from. Uh, we have a caravan in that field, hey, that's going to be our home. And we're going to level out some ground later on. Well not us, the construction company. It's uh, They're going to put up a new shed for us, but that's going to be tomorrow. Uh, we also got the fertilizer spreader and the fertilizer and we've also got GPS added to the tractor. It wasn't cheap, obviously it was a dealer that did it, but I think it's just going to be helpful for things like fertilizing, especially with this the granular fertilizer. It's very easy to overlap and with the price of it just now it's quite expensive to waste. So it should pay itself back, or at least I hope it does. Anyway, I'll get the GPS set up. We'll get into this field and we'll get going.
Well, we looked at the fuel Bowser, but it was about 30,000. And half the price of that, we got a little flatbed trailer that you just seen. So that was the better option, because that means I can now carry fertilizer and potentially seeds when it comes to drilling to the field instead of having to go back to the shop and fill up all the time. So crack on, I'll get this field done. And we're only going just across the road there. Well, here we are, the first load in from field 16. Well, that's us almost finished the contract in this field. We've taken another one on uh, over field 8 for sorghum. Not sure if it was a good move or not this late in the afternoon. Uh, it is quite large and we haven't got the biggest header. But we'll empty into this trailer. That's it there. Uh, field 8, sorghum. Now we're in that field there, and that's field 8. So it's a massive difference. It is the biggest in the game. So I hope it's not too late for finish, but we'll find out if it's a good idea or not. Uh, so we'll tip this load at the shop to complete the contract, and we'll head over to that next field. As you notice, I didn't record the whole time lapse as I did in the previous episode. Just to try and reduce the overall video length, so let me know what you think of that. It'll be like this for a few episodes, uh, try and get them out a bit quicker. Uh, but do a little time lapse just now and we'll meet you over in the next field.
been paying attention to the combine much because there's been that hired worker. I just noticed now that it's running really low on fuel. So we're going to fuel that up, tip the rest of the sorghum in the trailer to get across to the cell point. And just hope it doesn't run out. almost done. We're just working the last section now. There's definitely enough fuel to finish with the combine. And it'll get a rest after this field until tomorrow, if there's any other contracts. So as I said, we're almost there. Just that last section, you can just see in the distance. He's about halfway up the field, I think. But we're almost there. Another little bit of a time lapse. And we'll see you at the end to collect the money. taking the rest of the sorghum up to another sell point because this is the highest paying one just now. As we finish the contract what we've got in the trailer is now ours to sell. So that's just over £10,000 and 30000 for the contract. Well that's it for episode 2. You will see we've sold field 6 in that brief little clip and also that is the John Deere 9470R. Tune in for episode 3 where we'll see that in action. Thanks for watching.